Right, so Justin Squares. See, 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 this is my issue, yeah, with people and their belief in the supernatural, yeah? So a man's asked me, so where is the universe from? Who created it? Where are we all from? Yeah. Now, sometimes, right, we just have to accept that we don't know at this stage in life. Yeah? Sometimes we just have to accept that we will never know, yeah? Certain, these profound, deep, serious questions, yeah? What's the origins of the universe? What came before the universe, yeah? Sometimes, yeah, we just won't ever know, right, in our lifetime, yeah? And I think this is people's problem. This is why people believe in all these supernatural tales because they always need an answer. I'm happy with not knowing, yeah? It don't affect my life, yeah? Now, it's nice to know, you know, the origins of the universe and shit like that, yeah? I kind of believe in the Big Bang thing, but I'm, you know, I'm a bit sketchy or whatever, isn't it? Yeah, but everything after the Big Bang, like evolution and that, yeah, 100% believe in it. I don't believe in God, mate, yeah. I'm a bit sketchy about the Big Bang thing, but I definitely do not believe that any God created the universe, whatever, isn't it? Yeah, it's just my, my kind of thing is, well, what was before the Big Bang? Yeah, but maybe only someone who is like a physicist can really deep it and actually explain that or whatever. Now, I've seen one, two videos, whatever, and I kind of forgot, but I think they're just saying all my exploded out of nothing. And yeah, simple logic will tell you, well, something cannot come from nothing. But at the same time, right, inside of a black hole, the laws of physics don't exist the same way they do outside, i.e. light can bend, can bend in a black hole. There's no such thing as time in a black hole and shit like that. So maybe... I don't know, maybe there was a black hole before or whatever, yeah, and maybe the universe ex exploded out of that. I don't know, yeah. But just because I don't know, that don't mean that I'm going to say, yeah, there must be a God or a higher power. I'm happy with just accepting that I don't know, yeah. I'm not going to, you know, start flinging the, the God card and this and that just because I, I'm, I'm ignorant. No. So I think that's, that's why a lot of people believe in God. And as I said before in a couple of live streams before, I can't remember which one it was, I think the main reason why people believe in religion and or God is because of the most profound question ever. What happens when we die? Yeah. Me, I know it's hard to fathom, yeah, because remember, we're talking about consciousness now, isn't it, yeah? You lot are conscious right now, yeah? I'm in my kitchen making this video, you lot are watching me. Some people at work watching me when they're supposed to be working, you know who you are, say no names, yeah? Certain people are just in their bed, whatever, chilling out, watching me on their phone or whatever, on their laptop, on their TV. Yeah, we're all conscious. We all know what's going on right now. Yeah. So what happens to that consciousness when we die? It's hard to just think everything just goes out, darkness. Yeah. It's, it's, it's hard to fathom that. But my thing is, right, I have to think to myself, well, what was it like before I was alive? Yeah. What was there before I was alive? Where was my consciousness before I was alive? My consciousness didn't exist. There was nothing. So therefore, when I die, there is nothing. I know it's hard to fathom. I know it's hard to think that, oh, you know, when we, when we die and we close our eyes and we die, you know, there must be something afterwards, isn't it? But there's not. Yeah? Even saying that, I find it hard to fathom, but I know there can't be anything else, right? And I feel like they just created stuff like religion to keep people in check, which is a good thing in, in certain aspects, isn't it? Yeah? Lie to the people and tell them, if you are an evil person, you will go to hell. So therefore, be a good person and you will go to heaven. Although they don't exist, I think sometimes you have to just lie to people to get them to behave themselves. Because if people, no matter how much morals we have or whatever, isn't it, yeah? if they introduce something like the purge, yeah, and they said, guys, for the next week or a year, you can do whatever crimes you want. Yeah? You can rob, you can steal, you can kill, you can do whatever you want. Yeah? And even after the purge is over, we cannot prosecute you. Yeah? There's a lot of people who, they're morally correct people right now because they, have to, they live within the rules of society. And they know, if I do this, I'll get in trouble for that. But you take away those rules. And you'll find out what type of animals, what type of demons are within. Right? So I think sometimes you have to lie to people 
just to keep them in check. Yeah, lie to people and tell them that there's an, a scary man deep underground, yeah, near the Earth's core, who's going to drag you down and you're going to be there for all eternity, burning, cooking like you're on a fucking human barbecue, yeah, if you are a bad person. And if you are a good person, do the right thing, you will flow up to heaven, yeah, and, you know, maybe it depends on what religion you believe in, but there's like six virgins or whatever waiting for you in it. I think, yeah, sometimes you do have to lie to people, innit? Because people are just stupid. You know, people who have no morals. You know? But I think God, religion, supernatural, voodoo, ghosts, all of it, none of it exists. You know? That's my belief. Yeah. You know? My belief, it's not even a belief. Yeah. But anyway, I don't believe in none of that stuff. None of it. And just because I don't know about the origins of the universe, just because I don't know, I don't understand, or nobody really knows, whatever, I'm not going to say, oh, well, it must be God. No. But if people don't want to believe what they want to believe, that's cool. That's cool. As long as you're not going knocking on anyone's doors trying to convince them that the Jehovah's Witness, that's cool.